Good afternoon and today's video is just touching on a few of those things that um, take hours and hours to figure out and um, haven't been covered, uh, little problems that haven't been covered in the setup of the TT deck uh, with the Fleischmann uh, 56052 turntable and then furthermore problems with the connection with ECOS and then later connecting ECOS and turntable to Rowcrail. I've installed my turntable first problem I had is the Fleischmann turntable has actually got a position one on it and I installed the turntable flat um, straight into the layout uh, not knowing where position one was and then I found that position one always seemed to appear over here uh, so I rotated the turntable reinstalled it as position one to be the intake that was that sorted then we had to get the LTD LDT um, module TT deck module uh, my friend has covered this quite well on YouTube already hover motion um, on how to set that up firstly a single button press will put it into um, setting mode you need to do 180 degree show where all the outlets are and you may need to alter the potentiometer and the speed to get it to line up with each segment then later um, once you've done that you press the double press the button and then you set just the outlets that you want it to stop at and set all that up then you come across to the ECOS system um, as I say my friend hover motion has covered this quite well um, so you add an item to your listing by just adding and then plonking in a turntable they set it up as the Marklin 7686 turntable with the address of 225 and as I say when we're doing going through the settings we're just pressing one segment at a time and input one segment input one segment input until we get to the end and then we're pressing end once all that's set up that was kind of the easy part then I had to find out why I couldn't get it to connect to Rowcrail. Now this is Rowcrail already launched. Um, I added a turntable in here. That's quite easy to do. All you have to do is um, go up to track plan, add item, and then down to block turntable drag it in place it asks you what its name is now if you've ever had a turntable on your system be before um, and this is first time you're setting it up uh, digitally make sure that the information of your old turntable isn't in the system because these two pieces of information will conflict um, I did have an old turntable and it was set up to be named turntable and that caused a massive problem because it didn't know what to do with it I'm just going to call this turntable one because I've already got a turntable in the system once you've created your turntable you need to create you need to connect it and you do this by going interface selecting your controller address again we're going to put in 225 Uh, the type is a TT deck and that was as far as I got once I pressed apply and OK nothing worked nothing worked for about two hours until I'd done some research and also looked into the ECOS manual um, and the ECOS manual says that it sets it up as the Marklin turntable and because it sets it up as the Marklin turntable, Marklin turntables work on a protocol basis of Motorola. 
and this was where it got hung up and unable to communicate. So you need to set the protocol as Motorola on this system as well. And then you click apply OK. The next phase will be to set your outlets. Now your outlets don't actually correspond um, to what's in that decoder. You've already set up where you want the decoder to stop and that's good because now you can set your outlets to be more or less where you want them to come. Now that might not be the numbers of your outlets and I'll show you what I mean. If I put a track in this system, I'd add the track. Now depending on what number I give it, it appears in different ways. Um, so I'm going to put number one in and then I can put number three, two, three in and as you can see on here they come this side of the diagram well unfortunately that's not where I want my one so you can rotate that by going down to orientation and over to rotate and then that puts that up here but it still may not be right for your system and you might have to fiddle about with that a little bit but anyway if you want your outlets different than where they come or di numbered differently from where they come you can quite easily alter it on this system because the module already remembers that information so for instance if I say one and go properties then I can track one number but decoder track number could be five and then I apply that so now even though it shows as being one on my system and will turn to that position it will actually go to the position of five on the decoder now once you've added any items like this it's important to shut down your system and server and restart before you try and use the operation of it because any, any big updates require the two systems to communicate to each other but I hope this video clarifies and makes it a little easier for you to go through the setup on your system as I say, if you get any problems with the LDT decoder, Hover Motion has covered this very thoroughly. But um, as I say, the next stage for me was to connect it to the computer, which um, yesterday's experience of 18 hours um, between all the different uh, installing, removing, reorganizing, and uh, then setting up, um, was quite a severe task when it was supposed to be something simple. So I hope that helps. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.